today we will be teaching you how to make a sea turtle farm and kill all the baby turtles. Now, to start you're going to want to find a warm beachy area with sand and open ocean for them to spawn at. What you first want to do then after that is get some shears and find some seagrass because this is what you will use to attract them and mate them. And you're just gonna walk around and you're gonna collect some. Boop, 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 boop. All right, I got my, got my seagrass. After you do that, you're gonna wanna bring two turtles that you find over and you're gonna wanna mate them. Then the daddy turtle will leave. And I guess the mommy's turtle is leaving too. Okay, so now, if the turtle doesn't lay the eggs in the area that you want, you can use a silk touch whatever to pick them up and then place them where you want. Or you can just wait to wherever they lay the eggs and build your enclosure around that. When you're going to build your enclosure, you're going to want to do a 5x5 fence post around them with an open end to the water. And if you want to make it more convenient, you can add some carpet to the back of it so you can get in and out easier. You want to want to put torches everywhere too because the mobs are going to want to trample the eggs. They are attracted to them and will trample them, so make sure you put lots of light so nothing is attracted to it. From there, you're going to want to start building the structure, and my assistant Dorcas here will start showing you that. Very nice. So the, uh, the rest of the farm is actually pretty simple to build. You can use whatever material you want. Um, but you're going to need some hoppers, a chest, some glass, some wood, and signs, and trapdoors, and some other things. <laughs> There's a lot. There's quite a bit. So, the first part, just build your little space. Now, how far back are you going, Dorcas? Eh, about three. Okay, so for the next part up, you're gonna want to have some trap doors to prevent the little ones from escaping. Oh, I have them facing the wrong way. Hold up. You're welcome. Okay, so next part, add these little things on top, the little half add slabs. Add the slabs to the top of those. So, so this is robot. this will prevent when you when these do hatch, they're not going to go right down in there, because yeah, when the, they do hatch, their um, instinct it goes right to the ocean. And this will let them, after a while, go down in there, and then the adults will get stuck. Okay. So then, you have it go. You have a four. By how many is that? Five, six, four by six little blocky area here. And you're gonna come in here and you're gonna drain up all this water. Next up, you're gonna wanna make sure the bottom is completely kind of filled in. This goes down a little bit. Okay, so from the ground you want to go down two. Next, it's, it's three. Go down three. So before you add uh, any more water in, you're going to want to add some signs right off here. This will prevent any uh, the water that you're going to add from escaping down. This will make it so you can still see the turtles when they drop. Signs on the wall. I need to see ocean, thank you. Put a piece of glass in the middle there so you can see the ocean. Chest right below that, which you need access to. Dang it. Come on, there, 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 that is better. So this way, you can come down and access the chest where all the items will be located. So you're gonna put a chest and a piece of glass over it. Just like so. I'm going to add some hoppers and make sure the, uh, the first hopper is connected to the chest and then branch the other ones off of it. A 
It's okay. Take your time. Why is it not working? You stupid... It's okay, Rocky. Take your time. There we go. Oh my god. So you want to line the one. bottom with hoppers first connecting to the chest. And then add slabs over the hoppers. The items will be able to still get through, but the turtles can't actually make contact. So what actually will end up happening is when the turtles are babies, they will crawl through here to go to the ocean. They will fall down in, and eventually they will grow up, and this is where they will die <laughs> and drown. Pretty much. Fill in water with that one block there, so that way the turtles go to that water, and then they will drop down. And then, yep, that is... That is pretty much it. Now you just have to wait for the turtles to hatch, and we will be back as soon as they hatch. All right, so now our eggs have hatched, and they have grown up. So what you want to do is you're going to want to breed them a couple times. The great thing about this is that you can continuously breed them after they laid eggs. They can just they're literally. And now, and now since you have your adult turtles, you can open the trap doors for the new generation to go in there and die. The great thing about turtles is as soon as they lay their eggs, you can continuously breed them. So as soon as the mommy turtle lays those eggs, you can go for it again. They are ready to go once again like rabbits. So what are the benefits of a turtle farm, Luke? What, what do you get from these? Get yourself some skews, get yourself a turtle shell helmet. Turtle shell helmet allows you to breathe underwater. It also gives you seagrass, which you can use for further... Um, for the breathing with them, so you don't have to keep going collecting more. Are, are you gonna lay some eggs? <laughs> Just look at you like, what do you want from me? <laughs> I want you to poop those <laughs> eggs out. <laughs> but yeah, all right, that's yeah, that's just the gist. You get those two adult ones in there, and then they just keep breeding them, and then the babies will come in here and die. You got more adults if you want, it'll go quicker, you'll get more. And then after a while, they'll start to die, and then you can come down to the chest and you can pick up all your items. We'll show you here once everything starts to get going. Oh, now they're laying the eggs. So once those eggs hatch, we'll show you when they hatch and babies going and dying. All right, see, now one has spawned and it is going to go to the water and it's going to drop in there. Come on. And then eventually it's going to grow up, get stuck in here because they can't be in one block, and then die, and all the items will go in the hoppers. So, we just want to thank you for watching. Make sure you like and sub. Join the Twitch community that we have. And we will see you on the next one. Burn it! I have a turtle helmet. <laughs> okay, I guess I thought you were going to burn it. <laughs>